If PDP breaks, don't blame Atiku for going with 70% of members. Exactly. The way I'm looking at it, PDP is obviously going to break because with somebody like Nwike in PDP, you can't continue to have a, a peaceful party. Nwike has shown as a epitome of trouble in party, in, in fact, in all national affairs, in, in politics in Nigeria. Nwike is a, a good epitome of trouble. So now, a PDP group has come out to warn everybody and say, look, if PDP breaks today and Atiku goes with 70% of PDP members, don't blame Atiku. You should blame Wike for it. I'm telling you. A pro-people democratic party on the platform of PDP Reform Congress, PRC, has warned the leaders of the main opposition party not to blame the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar if the party eventually breaks. The group said the obvious indiscipline in the party will not evaporate without a deliberate decision and action of the party leadership and its critical stakeholders. PDP is dead. They can't control like someone like Mwiki. They can't intervene on all the matters involving Mwiki. So it is to break it and move away, let them stay. So in a statement released uh, Sunday in Abuja, signed by East National President Honorable Adekambi Nuruddin, said the impending break-up and total dismantling of the People Democratic Party is imminent. No thanks to both the internal and the external influences aided by the irresponsible National Working Committee of the party under its acting national chairman, Ilya Omar Damago. There are members of the PDP who go uh, roughshod against the spirit of the party and the leaders of our party flagrantly refuse to intervene and the re okay and the leaders of our party flagrantly refuse to intervene and rescue the PDP from the grip hold of fifth columnist exactly the group led by Nwike. So a situation whereby the National Working Committee of the party has become lame duck, deliberately turning blind eyes to the yearnings of the party members and doing the biddings of selfish, compromised members leaves nothing to write home about. And that is true. So the insolence of some members against what is generally perceived to be in the interest of the party keeps getting worse and threatens the survival chances of the party. So it is also very troubling that other statutory organs of the party, such as the National Executive Committee, the National Caucus and the Board of Trustees, have not only become weak and clearly bereft of the courage and, grift, um, and greed which leaders of the party in times past were known for. However, nobody should make any mistake if the party finally breaks up today, no less than 70% of the party members will follow Atiku to wherever he goes. So if Atiku decides to stay back in the PDP, he will have the majority. So if he decides to leave the party, he will move with the majority. So if he decides to go into alliance with these huge numbers, he will carry the day, regardless of what Tinubu's agents in the PDP are determined to do. So the statement said, majority of the PDP supporters believe in Atiku as a man who has the capacity to rebuild the nation and um, reorganize the party. So they believe he has the capacity to face the twin monster of both the APC and the incumbency of the Tinubu. So they believe he is the only prepared leader for the office of president. The trust in his ability to unite Nigeria because of his experience and vast network even beyond Nigeria. So they believe he can rebuild and manage the economy better and address the plight of the Nigerian youth. So they have seen that those working against the progress of the party are doing so for their own selfish interest and to pave way for Tinubu in 2027. Exactly. Exactly. Mwike, Tinubu has bought Mwike and Damagun and that is what Tinubu is using Mwike to achieve. Hmm. They have seen that those working against the progress of the party are doing so for their own selfish interest and to pay way for Tinubu in 2027. So this is a note of warning 
to party leaders both within and outside the party working hard to weaken and destroy pdp for tinubu that their calculations is bound to fail mm. i like that i like that okay somebody's asking here what selfish man like Atiku is still doing in nigerian politics let him retire for good hmm okay oh go and retire him now yes bro i didn't blame you eh because you have free data you can say anything Atiku desperation cost pdp's present state when he tambua kokwanso aliyu saraki amechi etc selfishly betrayed jonathan okay by pulling out that is the root problem of the party by pulling out wiki paid him back via g5 <laughs> that is karma so why is article and his selfish supporters complaining now what goes around comes around nobody has a monopoly of anything <clears throat> okay well, this miscalculation of pdp in the build up of the presidential election will haunt them for a long time where is Dino? Losing Peter B is their biggest mistake. Forget Mwiki, his popularity ends in River State. Funny enough, Nigerian electorate are more wiser now and they are not looking for who is popular but who they can trust. Exactly. And that is very correct. You're nothing but a mighty fool like can you imagine. Somebody is insulting people here. People cannot just come out and make their own comment without insulting anybody. Eh? And uh, somebody say, nothing is correct in the statement. Wicked political structures and influences in PDP cut across every nook and cranny of what? Of the party. This is a story. This is a story. Leave Mwike. Mwike is only popular in River State. Mwike will never win presidential election in Nigeria. Let's forget the party. No need to waste, uh, to waste someone's data on that matter. That is the truth. Mwike cannot go anywhere. I don't believe in Article leaving the party. They all know the problem of PDP, which is Mwike. Can only Mwike destroy the party. Uh, my advice to Article is to, to do what? Hmm. To go around to meet the leaders in the party, okay, and make reform PDP, uh, a reform PDP by sending those National Working Committee away because uh, they are their people, okay, they are the wicked people. It's using to destroy or that the people wicked is using to destroy the party for Atiku. Leaving PDP is not the best answer. That is what you think. That's what you think. These same people have collected money from Wiki and are dancing to the tone of Wiki. So that is the, that is the bad thing there. Atiku has been a problem of PDP. He is a serial defector. Okay? We all know that Atiku also has his own problem too. So that is why PDP and APC should never be the party to be trusted come 2027. That is it. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment on this matter. <laughs>